Hey everybody, it's George Woodham reporting for Woodham's World. I'm here with Microtech Gefell, and they are a very well-renowned German microphone maker, but they've kind of branched out into some things that I didn't know they were doing. Let's check them out here. I'm here with, I didn't get your whole name, Marcus. Name Marcus, nice to meet you. Nice huh? to meet you. What's new today? So, uh, George, what is new today are two microphones primarily for the application of a, a professional iPhone mic for on-site podcasting, on-site recording of any type of dialogue or interviews. Um, even though it's a dynamic capsule, there's an extra shock absorber on the inside so that there is practically no noise by handling the microphone with a... The, That's great. Low handling noise. That's one of the hardest things to do. One, and, and, and the engineers did a marvelous job. We've been trying to abuse the thing and you basically hear no noise at all. And it also, without too much compression, adapts the input level. So you don't really... It's a foolproofed microphone so that whatever you want to do, you can do it without giving it too much thought. So it has an internal gain control it and it's an always... a gain control that basically makes sure that whatever iPhone model you use, it doesn't matter which iOS, it's immediately detected, it's bus powered through the lightning adapter and it's pretty much um, a professional solution at an excellent price point that we feel. It will retail probably for about $590 and it is really a good solution for journalists on the go. Very nice. I'd like to try that for some of our future videos. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you contact me after the show, I'll send you a demo unit. Fantastic. What do we have the here? Same, the same series. This is called, the, the German name, you know, translate into English, it's called a hummingbird. And it, the capsule is actually a development out of the measurement microphones that we de develop at Microtech Gefell. And it has these mini adapters, and then you can plug it in into any camera and it's primarily again also for dialogue recording it's a little bit less flattering fl um, or flattering for the, the voice it's uh, relatively honest and uh, another use that we see now from people that purchase this is ambient noise recorders that go outside you know from a person that wants to have a certain bird sound to people that just you know want to record their creek or whatever there there is so there's a lot of different uses. Again, the price point is around 400 to 700 dollars, depending on what utilitarian pack uh, you want to buy it with. And then we will also supply it with different cables. You know, the standard comes with the mini in in inch adapter. That's the tip ring ring sleeve. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that also can be used on, in in the older kind of iPhones that still have you know, the input adapter and it will go over the, the built-in microphone. So this this gets its power from the iPhone? Yes, it's, yes. it also gets it from the, the, the headphone jack. Yeah, okay. So Tell us about the, I didn't know you guys were doing a more broadcast mic either. That what, we, what we decided to do a while back is we had more and more people that wanted to have live application microphones and, you know, microphones that were in a price range you know, where you kind of said, well, okay, you know what, this is how a good a dynamic microphone can sound like. And uh, so Udo Wagner, who's not with us, the head engineer, he developed now a, a, a large diaphragm dynamic microphone with a relative small mass. So you do have a lot of transient response on that, but what we like as, as voiceover guys, it does exactly do that. It enhances the quality of a voice to give it the warmth that it needs in order to cut through. So it's somewhat of a condenser like cur like top end. It has exactly. it doesn't roll off too quickly. It doesn't roll off too quickly, but at at the same time still has enough natural compression through the mass of the diaphragm that it gives it a smooth rounded finish. Very nice. And uh, what is this one going to be going for? Is it already available? Yeah, it's, this one is out. Depending on the euro exchange rate, the average you know street price has been around five hundred and thirty-nine dollars. You know, Fantastic. Plus minus forty dollars. Fantastic. Does it have a relatively a lot of dynamic mics have a really pretty low output? How's the output on it? Output is fantastic. If you take the headphones and you check it out, the output is about 30% higher than its competition. Wow, that's fantastic. So you can plug this into, you don't need an extremely high gain preamp. No. Like it's, it's actually, you know, I've, I've been 
using a lot of these also when when yeah. I teach at a college up here at Fullerton College. So students that are in the first year, we don't give them the four thousand, five thousand dollar microphones. And interestingly enough, I mean, you know, the testing that we've did with this was amazing. We ourselves were amazed at the practical usage, how versatile the microphone is, and at the same time that it's really sturdy. And the, the shock mount and the pop, syst pop filter system, that's an additional system from somebody else or from you guys? Uh, we basically have now a supplier of these pop screens. They're out of a really great material and they don't color at all. I mean, it's really a unique thing. So we purchased that from a third person, but they're all designed for us and it comes with the microphone. So, so we, what you see here is what you actually get? Yeah, that comes with the set. That's really nice. The Microtech Gefell Dynamic Microphone. Um, yeah, it is very, it has a nice, crisp top end on it. This, if, if you didn't know any better, you might think this was a condenser because it has a crispness to it. Nice and crisp. It has a good controlled proximity effect. One, two, three, four, five. Very rich, very clean, very full. Well, actually, I like this. There's a lot of dynamic mics I've tried, and I think they find, a, they, they tend to get a little tubby and a little uh, they lose some clarity when you're up close this thing really still maintains clarity we're definitely going to test this mic on Widom's World one day it's it's fantastic I look forward to trying this out in the context of uh, a voiceover as well because that's my that's those are our people thank you very much it was a pleasure to talk to you George thank you